Hello everybody. So the title of this section is Installing Packages and Dashboards. And it's a pretty straightforward description of a pretty straightforward section. Some of the things that we will be learning is the background and installation of some of the packages we will be using throughout this series. And this includes Google Analytics R, which we will be covering in this video, ggplot2. I also have a video with some additional resources so that you can gain a little bit more background about uh, these two packages in particular, Google Analytics R and ggplot2. And the reason for this is although we will try to be uh, complete in what we cover throughout this course, uh, certainly we won't be able to be uh, complete. And so I really highly encourage you to check that video out and visit and maybe study a little bit about the additional resources and features that these two packages provide. And in the final video, we're going to be covering the uh, background and the utility of business dashboards. Uh, you may already be using business dashboards at your company, but uh, we're going to be using a different system uh, using the Flex Dashboard Package, where we can really easily put together dashboards, which will help you gain deeper insights into the analysis that you do. So the title of this video is Google Analytics R Package Background and Installation. And as I mentioned before, uh, the points that we will be covering include uh, background of the package, uh, a walkthrough of the installation in RStudio, and a brief demonstration of how you can import data from your Google Analytics account into the RStudio environment using the Google Analytics R Package. So this leads us to the Google Analytics R Package. And as the description sort of describes, the package itself or the library is one that is written for integrating the Google Analytics API, which handles all of the, the function calls and the access into your account uh, with R. And it handles a lot of the authentication steps as well as um, kind of formatting the data in a way that can be easily used and plotted in R. Uh, it's a package that was written by Mark Edmondson, and Mark Edmondson now works for Google at the analytics uh, in the analytics department. So Google certainly thought that this uh, library was well written as well. So this leads us to our demo. So what, what I've done here is opened up a blank blank script in R Studio. You'll see that the environment is empty and the console doesn't have anything in it. The only thing that you want to remember is to have your working directory, the one that you are going to be using throughout this course. Now, maybe you've already set up your working directory, but this will certainly make things easier when it comes to having access to your files so that R and certainly you don't get lost in the process. So in order to um, install the packages that we need, we're going to use the install packages function and two of the ones that are going to be necessary for this step include not just the Google Analytics R, but the Google Auth R package. And this package um, handles the uh, the authentication step for um, for R Studio, so that uh, R can gain access into your account. And uh, once we run this, it's going to ask us um, to restart R. Your, your, probably, your session probably isn't going to ask you for that. However, what it's going to do, it's going to kind of load these packages into or download them from the UCLA server or whatever the nearest CRAN repository is for you. And then it'll download the zip files and automatically install them. And again, this is one of the kind of the, the, the convenient features of our studio. So once we've installed these packages, we can use the following two commands to load them up. And if these two steps occur without any errors, then we know that the libraries were installed correctly. So yeah, I guess the only additional uh, message here was um, for situations when you're making a lot of API calls. Um, in our case, uh, we probably won't be running into this limit, but if you do, if you're doing a lot of analysis or a lot of API calls in your script, uh, it may throw an error and this may help you kind of fix that step so that you can gain access to your data. So now that we've loaded up our two libraries, we're going to authenticate our account. 
and the function that we're going to be using is GA underscore auth. And this is one that is actually a part of the Google Auth R package. And then since we're going to do it for the first time, let's type you new user as true. And once we do this, it's going to take us to our web browser and all the, the Google accounts that are associated with this computer. The one that I've set up specifically for this course is found here. So I'll click that. And you're going to be asked um, some basic questions regarding uh, access and really allowing Google to access um, your data or the, uh, the, pa the library to access your data and to, in order to give it those permissions. So we're going to say yes. And then now we're going to return to R. And then what we're going to do is now that our, our authentication has successfully occurred, we're going to see if we can access our accounts by using the GA account list function. And once that runs, it's going to create this account list variable. And when we kind of open up that file, it's going to um, give us all the fields that it was able to download. And it looks like the account name is correct, the web property name is correct, and the one that we're actually interested in the most is this view ID um, number here, because this is what the API uh, or the Google Analytics uh, API access function is going to require. So let's store this in a separate variable. It's 154, and then we're going to store this as a separate number. And then what we're going to do is now actually download uh, temporary data from uh, the Google Analytics function. So in order to do this, let's do the, let's create a variable. We're going to use the Google Analytics for API, pass it the GA ID, which we just got. And it's going to require um, a date range. So let's give it a date range. month and a half from earlier this year. Uh, the metrics are going to be sessions. And then dimensions are going to be date. So more, we're going to find out more about what sessions and visitors are in a, in a following video. But this is just to demonstrate that our function is working correctly. So once we've downloaded this we're, we're going to see if we have the numbers correct, uh, downloaded correctly. So it looks like we were able to get from these two date ranges going from February to, to May. And these sessions are going to be uh, the number of unique sessions we have uh, from our web page. So Looks like these numbers are here. And uh, once we uh, download ggplot2, let's see if we can plot this in a line graph. So this is what we're going to show in the following video. So in this video, uh, some of the things we have learned is what Google Analytics R is, how we can install Google Analytics R. We saw how we did that in our RStudio environment. And we've also imported uh, sessions data into RStudio using the API call. And we saw that we were able to download uh, the number of sessions for each day going from our date range, February to May of this year.